My Tech Expo project is called For the Love of Video Games. It's come from, it's been a, it's been a journey. Started teaching computer programming um, because no, nobody else was teaching it at Kentwood High School about eight years ago. And over the course of that period, I realized that students are so engaged with video games that maybe if we started talking about programming video games, it, it would really engage a lot of students. I like how it gives students the opportunity to learn in a way that isn't going to make them feel like they're doing it for no reason. Like it's, it's going to help them apply their skills to different areas Last of life. Last year I took Intro to Java and I learned a lot of the basics of programming that way in Java and C Sharp. And then now she kind of provides us with resources if we need them to help us learn for ourselves. Two words come to mind, engagement and relevance. If, if students are learning something that is relevant to them, then they see a purpose for that learning. Also, there's nothing that engages students more than um, video games, and the thing that is so fun about it is that they are learning, and sometimes it surprises them, but they're learning critical thinking skills, analytical thinking skills, um, creative thinking skills, they're working w with teams, so their they're team building skills are developing. Uh, it's, it's a pretty powerful learning opportunity for them and it kind of sneaks in. They don't realize sometimes that they're learning all those things because they're having such a good time doing it. So my project is a RPG. It's um, based off uh, two teenagers who end up finding a further purpose. We have a dungeon that we have already made and so basically on the world map, so right here when you click on when you end up stepping on this, it takes you to this location in here, which is a dungeon. Um, so far, I've made quite a bit of maps. I don't know the exact number, but uh, I would like to say I've probably made about 60 or 70 so far, and we still have a lot more to go.